Hi, I'm Stephanie and this is my home, the 16th century Chateau de Lalande. Lalande was owned for hundreds of years by a family of marquises who were at the heart of French royal life. One of them even had the honour of being sent by King Louis XV to greet Marie Antoinette on her arrival in France. But, far from being a stuffy museum, this chateau is a living home. I live here all the time and I'm regularly joined by my mother, my family, my friends and wonderful volunteers from all over the world who help me to lovingly restore this historic home. Welcome to La Lande, a chateau filled with life, love and laughter. Ah, the delivery van. I love it when the delivery van comes. This is my favourite part of the day. Merci beaucoup, c'est super gentil. Vous pouvez le laisser par terre. C'est pour moi, Antoine. Antoine doesn't believe it's for me. Antoine, if you look at the other side, you'll see it's got Zara written on it. <laughs> How's your holiday going? Excellent. What a beautiful sight first thing in the morning. I cracked. All of my summer dresses were in my suitcase that Jerry's got in England because our suitcases went to the wrong countries. So I got a couple of summer dresses. Oh yes, that'll be perfect for mummy. And a little white summer dress for me. I haven't seen a new dress since the beginning of lockdown. <laughs> it's exciting, isn't it, Diesel, hey? Yeah, you look pretty excited too. <laughs> there, I've wrapped mummy's up for her again. I've got to go and find her. She's bound to be in the garden. There's my new dress. I feel lovely and summery and light and very, very happy. So let's go and see mummy and see if she notices I'm wearing something different. She has no idea that I've bought a dress for her. As usual, Diesel's in his favorite spot right in the entrance and he's got a classic way of not in any way moving as we try and jump over him. Mama, how are things going in here? Oh, you've got a new dress. You um, did notice. I know, I know everything you have. Do you like it? Stephanie, you've got cupboards full of dresses. Anyway, did you need to buy it that? Eh? Did you actually need to you buy You know it? I've been wearing the same five dresses on rotation. Yes, I have noticed that. Yes, I'm sure everyone's noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, it's going to be a very comfortable dress for you. Thank you very but much. Please do not do not make that excuse again. How are things going in the no garden? Self-indulgence. Selma and I would love your help. We are going to find out what the correct alignment of the garden is. Yes, I want to do that uh, because it's obviously badly designed. I know, I think we designed it beautifully, but then we forgot our original design. Do we have a helper in you as well, Antoine? Uh, no, I eat. Oh, you eat? Yes. <laughs> oh, well, we've got one of our workers is at lunch. We need three tall sticks and a very, very, very long string. We are using the Roman method. Good. It has been a trusted method for <laughs> a thousand years or two thousand years. Right, so. if it works for the Romans, it can work for us. The, they, they, they did all this bad stuff. All wrong. They did wrong. All wrong, yes. yeah. We've got to the point where it all looks great from the ground level, but I just suddenly realised yesterday in a moment of horror that we weren't properly in alignment with the central hedges for the rose garden. And when we first planned the garden, when we moved here 15 years ago, we had arranged for everything to be in alignment, but things have moved and they weren't properly boxed in. So everything's moved. And then Paul Selmar's been doing this such beautiful work. Really, he's a perfectionist, it's lovely, but it's not in the right alignment. So before he finishes any more, we want to make sure that we've got it right because yes, it looks great from the ground, but the minute we have any sort of drone shots, it's going to look a complete mess from the air. Now we won't see it from the air, but I just feel that for future generations, when you're putting in the structure of a garden, I don't know anything about planting designs for a garden, but structure of a garden, I can understand. And I think that has to be beautiful from the air as well as from the ground. So we're trying to get it right. It's trying to find where to put our sticks is our problem now because we feel that the hedges aren't in alignment in the first place, so we can't line up to something that's misaligned. 
Right, we've decided that as the second lot of box hedges are probably not in alignment, yes. but the first lot are, uh, we're going so to we, use the first lot. Use the first. So we're going to put one uh, stick here. I need to, need to measure also. Then you know that exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's the problem. If we've just got a if tiny few different centimetres different. difference here, by the yeah. time we put the line down there, we'll be a metre out or more. So we have to get this bit right. So this stick is now going into the corner here. This is altogether more complicated than we thought. You can't just put a bed in a garden. <laughs> well, you uh, nowadays you have lasers for that. <laughs> We're doing this the old fashioned way. We are the old fashioned way. <laughs> because it's an old castle. <laughs> I have a very important job. I have to stand on the measuring tape. Okay. Yep. We don't even have a measuring tape long enough. Okay. Voila! <laughs> Five. Ten. What is it? Ten seventy-eight. Okay, ten seventy-eight. Okay. I knew that this one was good. Right, stick number three, the moment of truth. <laughs> you think it's about to happen now? Yes. After all this faffing, we're ready for stick number three. Wonderful. Okay, yeah, man. That's true. Okay, do you know what? We were exactly halfway between what you thought and what I thought. Yes. Literally exactly halfway. And it's exactly <laughs> where I said it would be. Oh, so, oh, so, oh I'm sorry, Mummy. Oh, so you're saying that you uh, were exactly I, uh, right? Yes. I, <laughs> Selma can testify to that. Yes. Yesterday I said that's where it is. Well, this is true Team Lalande spirit. We meet halfway. We all want the same. <laughs> We're dreaming the same dream. <laughs> so we meet in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> can you see the three aligned, Tiffany? Because I can't see the yes. third one. Yes, yes. But that's because Come they're so here. well aligned, you yes, see, Mummy. That's, that's why right. you can't see the third one. <laughs> Shall I go and stand by the third one? You... Uh, Okay. It's not often one sees Tiffany on the run, actually. Uh, We're in alignment. Yes, aligned. <laughs> one twenty-eight. Mm -hmm. Now we're talking about four centimeters. That's fine. Yes. I think we can live with four centimetres out, if that's, oh. all, if that's all it is for you to redo this entire bed. But anyway, now we, okay. we can if, carry okay, on. As do. long as we can get the mower through. You, you, yes. Yes! <laughs> that's what I like to see. I can't jump because I'm filming. It's good. <laughs> Bye! We did good, Anton. We did good. Shall we have lunch, Mummy? I think we ought yes. to and you should. Yes. Good, good time to stop. Good work's been done here today. Miracle of miracles, I think one of our stubborn avocados might, after about two weeks, have finally ripened. Black I know, they go, they go from completely solid to black. The minute our backs are turned... Oh, what is it? I, I saw it when I came in. What could it be? No. <laughs> Darling, did you buy that for me? Yes! <laughs> What do you think? But darling, I am not self-indulgent like you. No, it's lucky that I'm self-indulgent for the two of us. You want me to become invisible? Yes, because in the garden you'll just blend <laughs> right away. Yes, <laughs> thank you. Then we can find you anymore. <laughs> <That's so funny. laughs> wow. Well, I know you wanted something light, but yes. um, I don't think it's quite a gardening dress, though. Do you? Do you think oh, if you want to use it as a gardening dress? You use it as a gardening dress. With your boots? Yes. <laughs> I can't wait to see the way you're going to style this up, Mummy. I shall. Thank you very much, Mummy. Are you going to try it on for us? Mummy hates trying on clothes, absolutely despises trying on clothes, don't you? Well, I will put it on. <laughs> Abracadabra. Mummy, you look beautiful. Little turn, please. Little twirl. Yes. It really suits you perfectly. You haven't even I've looked never in. worn that colour. Uh, but I knew it was your colour the moment I saw it. And, and it's lovely. The crocs set it off very nicely. Yes, 
It's my sort of shape, you see. Yes, that's what I thought. Do you want to have a look in the mirror just behind you? Oh, yes. Oh, it's excellent. Oh, oh, yes, we, we like what we see. Yes, you see, it's not a gardening dress, Mummy. No, it's no. for when we go to Paris together after lockdown. And aperitif on the Seine. Yes, have you ever had an aperitif on Never. the Seine? In... Right, well, there we go. We're going to go and have an aperitif on the Seine, and you can I... wear that dress. I'm very happy. Oh, I think it's lovely, darling. I knew it would fit thank you. Thank you. You shouldn't have, though. <laughs> but I did. Yes, you did. And I thank you for it. There was a mid season sale. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, I would object you to pay the full price if you can avoid it. I know that well, Mummy. I know my mother. <laughs> I think Percy is missing me. He just sent a message for us. Oh, OK. Uh, is it a video? I was a bit worried. Yes. Show me, show video. me. What are you thinking? I'm thinking of the Shatter Diaries last night. Did you see they made banana bread? I did. Why don't you make us one? Well, I've only made one in my life, and I don't have a Thermomix. Excuses, excuses. Just make one. Since you want it so badly, why don't you make it? I've got a hat on. I'm an outdoors man. I don't have time to spend in the kitchen. If you're the outdoors man, then you'll have to do the barbecue lunch today. Yes, I'll do that. I'll even share it with you. Mummy, I hope lockdown ends soon because I think it's starting to get to Percy. <laughs> Percy, yes. come and join us as soon as you can. ASAP. And we will make you banana cake. Just in case those two personalities split forever. <laughs> come. <laughs> there goes the postman. And you are not going to believe this. This is amazing. Okay, I have to call Antoine immediately. Yeah, I'm packed here! I can't believe this is the one time you missed the postman. Look at the table! <laughs> I know who this one is from. That's from Brenda Gibbons. And the other one, what's the other one? <gasps> to be opened on... The 13th of June, feast day of St. Anthony. <gasps> Can you believe it? The postman just came. But it is so heartwarming. Wow. But this one is to be opened on his feast day, the 13th of June. Isn't that lovely? So we'll have That's a wonderful. we'll have a celebration for his feast day. Yes. We don't usually celebrate them, and it's something we should do. This one I ordered, so I'm allowed to open this now. Oh. Um, I'm hoping it is a novel. It is, Mummy. So I've just read this on Kindle and I knew Mummy would enjoy it. And Mummy likes reading a proper book. It's so much nicer. So I ordered this for her. Death in Saint-Chartier. This is one of the neighbouring castles here. And I know Ivo really well. He's the Chatelaine of this chateau. And he writes murder mysteries in Spanish. This is the first one that's been translated into English. And it's all set in this castle, the castle that in real life he lives in. And that is one of my favorite castles in France. It's so beautiful. So mummy, you'll be able to immerse yourself in a good murder set in our neighbor's house. I love a good murder. <laughs> I know you're gonna love it. You're really going to love it. Antoine, do you think we should just open them now? Yes. Just the two of us? Mm, yes. They'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do it. Okay. I'm faster than you, Antoine. I'm in. Oh, oh this is amazing. It's the Sevres porcelain that I was talking about at the Wallace collection in little notepad form. Oh, wonderful. Wow. Oh, wow. Just gorgeous. Two of those and two others. I don't know... This vase also served with the vase Japon, 1792 to 1793. And the reason I haven't seen this one is it's not at the Wallace Collection. It is owned by Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Wow. As I think is this one. But I will have seen, they produced a few of these designs and I saw one of them in the Wallace Collection. What's this? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Party. Party. Party flags. They're little party flags. Oh, no. Okay, le 14 juillet. Okay. 14th of July, Absolutely. Bastille Day. We're having Absolutely. a party with these. <laughs> oh, you are going to be enormous. 
Oh! Oh! Have you ever seen so many sweets oh, in the one go? These are so good. Oh my. You have to hide these from Nicholas, especially the Haribo. They're going to go like that. <laughs> Do you know all those sweets? No, that I never see. That's very English. Uh, that is that too. That is for diesel. <gasps> oh, they're so good. <laughs> you know those. Yes. I love the way you've just like laid it out. <laughs> it's a little shop, isn't it? It is, yes. We're now starting our own Lalan sweet shop. But you mustn't leave them out here yeah, because the chocolate is going to melt. It looks now. beautiful. It's so warm today. Whoa. 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 Thank you. <laughs> this is the one you want me to open first. Okay, Antoine is being very strict with the order of opening things. We've made an incision inside. <laughs> oh. oh already we're winning aren't we we've got bubble wrap <laughs> don't break what's inside you two okay, that's a good point oh <gasps> look at this envelope wow it's so beautiful oh that's incredible wow beautiful i ran in to get our letter opener because this is just too lovely not to use the nice letter opener uh, not Lutkote. Beautiful oh. card. Oh, with a photo. That's a lovely photo. Thank you. This is Sylvia who sent a parcel to Selma. Oh, Sylvia, I recognise oh. you from the parcel that you sent Selma that was so beautiful that arrived on his birthday. Thank you very, you very, very much. Very, very touched. And you are on a housekeeping team in a Scottish castle. Well, you could teach us a thing or two here. <laughs> I'd love to know how a housekeeping team in a Scottish castle works. We must yeah. keep the pink tissue paper. It's just pretty. Yes, it's very beautiful. The wrapping paper is yes. beautiful as well. Oh, Swiss hearts, lint. I love oh. lint. I love lint. <laughs> oh, look. oh, oh you're not the only one with chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> look at that handkerchief. And I feel oh. as though it matches what I'm wearing today. Oh, yes. 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 Oh, picnic food. Oh, yeah, look. Picnic that is food. Oh, look at that as well. By Sanchia Lovell. Okay, we, Antoine, shall we have an amazing picnic outside yes. with like blankets and cushions <laughs> and loads of different picnic food? Yes, <laughs> okay, we, we, I mean, look at the weather we're having. You see, we're, in, oh. we're inspired by you. Italian oh. custard tart, tomato and mozzarella salad, stuffed vine leaves, bread with fruit and wine, Ooh. roquefort pear and walnut salad. Mm. This is going to be the best picnic of all time because we usually have trout fillets poached in vermouth on our picnics here Don't at La just... <laughs> <laughs> That is really fantastic. Thank you. I can honestly say, say I've opened more parcels in my life with you, Antoine, than I did in my entire life up until <laughs> you arriving here. Where's my little knife? Stephanie, Isabel and Percy. Oh, hang on. Hang on, I'm extremely excited now that I see who it's for. I think I know what this is. Do I, you? I think I know, and if so... Yes! To Isabel and Percy, what a wonderful wedding day. Love and best wishes to you both. It's from Sheila Roper. Mummy, oh, this is going to be amazing, Antoine. Amazing. What? Sheila, I actually saw this on Facebook, a painting that Sheila had made of Mummy's wedding. Oh, yeah. And I immediately wrote to Sheila, offering to buy it or to buy a print if oh. she would sell me a print. And she replied saying, no, she insisted on giving it to you, Mummy. Oh, well, in fact, do you know what, Mummy? You have to open this. <gasps> oh, it's so beautiful. I can't oh, believe it. Okay, it show is Antoine. so beautiful. Show Antoine. Look. But look. Whoa. It is amazing. Look, there's the carriage that's just arrived with Mummy. Mummy's walking up. Yes. 
There's the cameraman. There's Percy next to the priest and me next to him in my blue floral dress. Jerry, Scott yes. in his kilt. The roosters. The it's peacock. Beautiful. It's amazing. It's just thank you. Oh, thank you very, very, very much. I will have that on the wedding anniversary where Percy and me are no longer together. Well, you know, you're not no we're no together, longer together. But she with the candles and <laughs> cannot be together. He's in Africa and I'm here, and I'll treasure it. Thank you, and he will love it too when he comes. Sheila, you're so talented. Selma, you it's have to beautiful. come and see this. Oh, wow. Isn't it a darling, darling picture? Oh, it's so precise. It's so... And everything is there. Look, even... There's the cat. The cat. But also, there's each of the little bits of ivy that we hang down with yes. the lace from the pergola to decorate for the wedding. Yes. And the sheep, even the sheep. Oh, wow, exactly. yes. Exactly. Beautiful, thank you, thank you very much. You can put everything in there and nonchalantly he can go in to his room with his loot. You're helping him to smuggle sweets past his parents. Yes. I'm, <laughs> I'm teaching him good things. <laughs> you are ready to I'm smuggle. Ready. This is for Dizzle. Well, you'll get away with it until this vlog goes live. And then you'll be busted. <laughs> yes. Mummy didn't think of that, did she? <laughs> you got a present. Dizzle. He's not interested, he's too hot. <laughs> he's too he's not the better. most hilarious dog in the world. Oh, finally, he's noticed ah. something. <laughs> We have decided to have a proper British fish and chip night tonight. I can't remember the last time I had fish and chips. We never make them here. So I'm in charge of making beer batter for the fish. And Nick, well, he is doing something very exciting. The most crucial part of fish and chips, Nicholas is creating tartar sauce. We can't eat without it and we don't have it. That's the best of the ingredients now being chopped up. He hasn't even added the mayonnaise yet and it already looks delicious. I just tried Nick's tartar sauce and we did it this way because we didn't have a jar of it here and it's the best tartar sauce I have ever tasted. It's just ordinary mayonnaise. We didn't make our own mayonnaise. We just had some in the fridge. He added capers, shallots, parsley, lemon juice and cornichon. <laughs> That's it. So four main ingredients added to salt and pepper, mayonnaise and lemon juice. Exquisite. I don't think we'll ever be buying it again. Here we go. First bit of fish. Wish me luck. We're using the fish plates from Limoges that I found in the local charity shop. Each plate has a different fish and there's even a matching sauce bowl for the tartar sauce. What do you think of British fish and chips, Antoine? Me? Mm -hmm. You. Oh. <laughs> Good. I like it. Oh. Excellent. That's what we like to hear. And it's actually quite a warm evening, but mummy looks like the Michelin man. <laughs> Warming my ossature. Your ossature needs warming. Mm. Well, Selma and I better snuggle against you on either side. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put you in a sandwich thank you. for the ossature. <laughs> a huge thank you to all of our patrons at Lalande who are making this vlog possible, especially our Mackies and Mackies of Lalande. Alice Allen, Daniela Dan Banda, Danelle Banakovic, Jason and Valerie Best, Veronica Castillo, Laura Damare, Sakura Dennis, Dotty, Anna Farmery, Caroline Furster, Brenda Gibbons, Brenda Harris, Anthony Hindmarsh, Laure Ukir, Yedelund, Pauline Johnston, Jimmy Kemp, Shannon Maitland, JC O'Ward, Maureen Palmer, Bettina Rojek, Barbara Schmelzer, Sven Schreiber, Patty Suhu, Sarah Thornton, Colleen Troyer, Brian Woodward, and David Young. And thank you to all of you.